What is up guys, Mitchell Mr. Duty and Acocalypse is back. So we have a sponsored video today. I played this game a ton last year. I was in some ads and stuff for them, but we're gonna be trying it again this year. And there's a bunch of new stuff. I can't wait to see it all. This is the wedding outfits. It's the Oathbound version. You can marry the characters. The outfits are so good in this game. Character design is great. It is a perfect side waifu collector game for me. I always have one of those. This is the one I played the most last year. That skin's really good, the Sova skin. And the outfits in this game are insane. It's either super tasteful and then it slowly gets more and more degenerate, which is hilarious. This one's pretty degenerate. So Lilith and Livia are insane. I do have a promo code if you want to try the game. Link in the description. Oathbound version 3475 Deity is the code. This skin is absurd. So we'll be going over gameplay. We'll do some summons. I'll show you everything about the game and why I played it so much last year. We're going to be playing it quite a bit this year because I want to try out all these characters see what's new. But this will be Apocalypse Scarlet Covenant. Let's go do some summons. So we are going to probably summon on, we have Lilith option, we have Mordred option, and then we have our Guinevere option. I'm going to go ahead and do some summons on Guinevere, probably about 100. This is what the summoning animation looks like. And you can tell if you got a five star, if that is gold, we did not get a five star. So let's go ahead and we're going to do probably about 100 summons, see if we can get her. So here's the second one. You can skip the summons like always. I want to show you guys what the gold looks like though. And you have the ob obviously opportunity to get multiple five stars. I've gotten three and one before, never more than three. Let's see if we can maybe change that today. And there's still all four stars. Okay, we need Guinevere's. I already have one, and every time you get extra characters, you get extra power on the characters, so they have breakthroughs. Okay, so the pity is, I believe, 80. 80 to pity. Or no, it's 50 to pity. So 50 to pity, and the character has a 40% up rate. So very high chance you're going to get something not, but here is a gold, as we have hit pity. Please be her. Nice, we got her. Okay, so we'll do a few more summons, see if we can get a duplicate of her or not. The more, obviously, the more you get, the more power you have on the characters. So, and one of the biggest draws to this game for me originally, the first time I played it for a while, was there's another gold. Ooh. Oh, we got a winnow. Okay, that's fine. Two. Ooh, we got two. Wait, hold on. Hey, there we go. Back up. Winnow looks pretty cool, but Guinevere looks very good. All right, there's two. All right, let's do let's do three more ten pulls. See what we got. Nothing on that one. And then after this, we're going to go out and check out these skins. There are so many skins in this game. That is the biggest draw for me for this game is the skins are crazy. All right, one more. Well, we'll go until we get a five star. Okay, so we are 34 from Pity. There we go. That's not her. We got Nef... How do I even say this? Neftus? I believe that's Neftus. Pretty, pretty cool. In a wheelchair? Pretty sick, actually. Okay. So we have Neftus, and that will be it for the summon session. But we're going to go ahead and go look at the skins once you guys see the skins. So that's what this game, in my opinion, is best for, is the skins. So skins, even before when they didn't have very many, were really good. Now, I know they have a ton. I haven't seen all of them, so we're going to go through them real quick. We have our summer skins. So we have the lifeguard. That's going to be out of order. It won't be all, all summer or anything together. So that's a skin for brown. Brown looks like a pretty cool character. That skin is uh, something. <laughs> Top. Gorilla, I'd seen that one before. There's a window somewhere. I think that's that's not a summer skin. That's like the New Year's skin, I think. Another summer skin. Uh, pretty good. That's for Nube. New Nube. Pan Pan skin is super good. All right, we got a Frudo. We have Nyla. We have Senko skin. I already saw Senko. I, I saw the Ferencia skin. Yora skin's really nice. Griff skin, I, I was still playing a lot back then. Yora skin's really nice. Dude, they're so... Look at that! I can't even pronounce this character's name, but look at that! Don't need to know her name. Uh, Guinevere, there's, so that's what I'm using right now, or pulling on right now is Guinevere. Mordred is insane. I've been using Mordred, playing around with her. Uh, she has multiple skins. This is the skin I use. This skin's stream. <laughs> then we have Yora skin. That's pretty sick, actually. I don't... I haven't seen that skin yet. I guess that's the summer skin. The Sarah skin is pretty good. This skin, that's one of my favorite skins of the game. Mori. That's the character that's on banner right or one of the characters on banner right now. Mori's skin is so nice. 
Lindell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing needs to be said about that one. <laughs> Kiki skin, pretty good. This is a really good skin, too, for Rayon. Very, very good skin. This skin is <laughs> something special, you could say. All right, so these are all the skins. So right now, there is the newest skins out are the wedding style skins. So this is the Oathbound version. You are actually able to marry characters in this game. So we're going to go ahead and go try that. We have to go into the case files to see the wedding skin. But the wedding skins are insane. Like, what is this? All right, so this is the Vio wedding skin. It's got Cupid's holding up some uh, of her assets. It's pretty insane. And this is exclusive to the Oathbound version. So you can marry characters and they get extra stats, I believe. So, uh, oh my god, I got half a million power for that. All right, this probably has got to be insane. Well, I can't, I'll never get to do it in real life, so here we go. Uh, that's why video games were made, right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Get the whole ceremony. <laughs> get the ceremony done. <laughs> okay, so what happens after this? So once Oath fulfilled, we get after receiving damage... Okay, I didn't get to read it, but we got some kind of boost. Uh, damage reduction a bunch and all unit attributes gain. And then the oath. You can boost the oath to get more out of it. This is Lilith's outfit. It is crazy. This is the wedding outfit for Lilith. Probably one of the crazier ones. Um, you, to initiate a Lilith. So you can do multiple characters. So I can do hers as well. So you can go through the marriage thing with multiple characters. So those are two of the wedding skins. Some more of the wedding skins are going to be our Nightingale skin. Nightingale skin looks very, very good. This is like a, I, I do like this skin a lot. I would say it might be my favorite out of them. And then we also are going to have our Nile skin. The Nile skin is very, very good. Let's see some quick gameplay from the game. So ton of different things you can do. We have events always going. Usually there's two events going at a time. Within the event, you're going to have a boss battle that you just go in and do as much damage as you can. And you get three entries per day. You just keep stacking that up. And you're going to have your stages that you go through. And then you're going to have a trade-in system for all the currency you get for the events. So you always have events to be working on. Always that going. Then you have your complex. You're going to have your dormitory. So as a dormitory system, which is thick. You can customize it however you want. You have up to four floors for it. The dormitory system is right next to the work agency with the work agency you're going to be sending your characters to work you get a bunch of resources and stuff from that as you keep going you're going to be able to keep upgrading and building it more and more and then as your characters work they lose morale then you need to take them out and then put them into your dormitory to fix the morale very very simple system for the dormitory the game has clans and then you have your cases so each of the cases you're going to be able to see all the different things that they do Within here, you can see their skills and try to come up with cool team comps is where you can level them up. You have your augmenting to boost up your characters. You can obviously all marry the characters. That's all within your case. And then you're going to have your team. But so within your squad, you're going to have your six characters that you place. You're going to have your support characters that you can put with your support characters. You links as you activate links your characters get stronger you're gonna have your treasure skills so you have different treasure skills as you pull on the new treasure event i'm not sure what all those do but that's extra power you have your elemonos which are little pets that are going to do additional damage and you have your neolists which are equipment that do extra damage so a million ways to power up your team besides the gearing portion they each have their own weapon so there's weapon banners to summon on then you have your gear your gear on the right side here the sword and chest they have random stats that they give you have to keep farming for this until you get stats you want the overall comic gear on the left side though it's pretty simple you get set bonuses and you just level it up it can level all the way up to 400 so <clears throat> you'd want to match it up and of the same set to get all these bonuses here gold is the highest i believe in the game right now once you get gold you can level up to 400 and that is the max and you level it up depending on the level you're at so mine can go to i think it's double your current actual level is how high you can level them up Billion ways to upgrade your characters and keep getting more power. Now, let's go ahead and see one of the battles. This is just a story battle. So going through the story, you just walk around. You can pick up stuff. And this is what a lot of the game looks like. There are some stages that you maneuver through a map and you can grab different things. But this is what the pet looks like. So I'm super overpowered. So those are my pets. And here is our Livia and Lilith going to town. Two very cool characters. I really like Lilith. Livia was out whenever I was originally playing. This skin is something else. 
I is all I can say. That skin is something else. So whenever you're fighting bosses, you cannot skip. But on that last fight, if you're fighting just regular mobs, you can just click this button. It's instantly done. So the game, this is the gameplay. Super simple. You just create your teams, watch them battle. Very casual. You can take auto off and manual it, but never need to. I don't think I ever manual the fight. If I was too weak, I would just go try to strengthen my characters and then go back and auto it again. Very, very relaxing gameplay. Super easy to play. And here, here's the final boss of the chapter. But as you go through, you're going to be getting different things. Going through the story is the main way you're going to be getting your original summon currency. So this is the currency you can use for summoning. You can actually buy any kind of summoning material with that. There are a bunch of different things to summon. And then these are some of the game modes. There's so many game modes. You have your Shattered Cosmos, which as you see is to get tickets for your pets. You have your Arena. You have Abyss. This is to get that right side gear. That's saying you need to match up the sets. You have your Harvest, which ways to power up your characters you have purification which powers up your neo list you have the chimera this is where you get that right side gear this is what you're going to be farming to try to get those specific stats on those pieces of gear and you're going to be farming that's one of the main things but this also has a co-op version that you go in and you can join other people so you can join a team or create a team so you can play with your friends which is really really cool i love pv so you can play with your friends and you have floor oath this is it uh, I guess for the Oathbound version, Floral Points, Golden Dew, and Golden Apples is to get your, whenever you marry a character, you can boost their stats by farming this. You have your Chimera Contract, this is for upgrading your gear. You have your Liberation, which is all sorts of different things. And then it has a bunch of game modes that come in and out depending on what time it is. So depending on, they have different events going. Some are clan things, there are clans. So here is the arena. I'm going to go ahead and do one quick arena fight and see our team in action hopefully we get more than just the beginning but i am so overpowered on this right now that uh it's hard to show too 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 much stuff so my phoenix kills everything she kills everything <laughs> all right that is that is the game though if you do pull a character you will be very very strong for a while and then you'll you'll hit a breaking point i just haven't played enough on this account to reach that point where i'm starting to fight the hard hard content that, guys, is the Cocalypse. So if you would like to try out the game, remember I do have the promo code 3475DED, lowercase DED, for the code. Also, GT Arcade is doing a promotion. If you try the game and you decide, I want to buy some of these skins, go ahead and download through the link below. Link your account. All you need to do is log into your GT Arcade account and then make purchases that way. Also, they're doing up to a 1,000 points giveaway. You get three spins a day. You could win a 1,000 points on the spins. So it's a way to get maybe get some free stuff for the game too. But this has been Mature Deity. This has been Ecoclips. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.